Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, we're going to be going over the free for the month assets for July. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one we're going to be going over is this Mediterranean Coast by Mithra Tech. And this is originally $160, but now it is free for this month. So when you launch the map, you'll see some really high end looking graphics like this. You can also hit play and you will spawn in with a character that can run around. It looks really high quality. There is some camera lag to give it more of a cinematic feel. And yeah, this is just an amazing map. You can kind of see in the distance that things are loading in. There are quite a few LOD levels for optimization. This is a nanite friendly and lumen friendly project, meaning it's just enabled. And you can kind of see some God rays, which look amazing. And the mountains far in the back look really high quality. So let me just go over there. So you can see things kind of load in as I move forward. And this is just a very simple static mesh. And you can kind of see that landscape end here. And that's totally fine. And that is the Mediterranean coast. It looks really nice. Like I actually really do like this one. So now we'll go over the Mega Magic VFX bundle. Um, there can never be any, there can never be too many VFX. And I actually really, really like this one. I'm looking forward to how these look. They actually look really sick to me. So let's go ahead and check that out. So sorry if you have seizure warning, but this is the explosions map, which has a ton of different types of explosions. They look like fireworks, fire rain, um, just a ton of really cool effects, even some bug swarm looking things over here or red clouds and so on, a beam of light that explodes. And these ones are the buffs or some sort of stuff. So the energy shield, a ring of flame, lightning field, and so on. These look really, really crazy. And then there's also some magical asteroids and meteors that can float around your character, some nature type aura, a magical barrier. And of course these can change colors. And now let's take a look at some of the auras. So there are some wind and wall or water wall looking shields, a ton of different types of bubbles like so, some molten ones, a ring of fire. And yeah, these look really, really sick to me. I really like how these look. An electric one, something that covers all the elements. And next, let's go over this stylized landscape, five biomes plus stylized plus low poly forest by Orasot. So this is when I opened the five biomes level. This is giving a very Breath of the Wild vibe. I love these grass textures. They're not too harsh. They're very stylized. And overall, it does look really pretty. There's some flower foliage, uh, these stylized trees. And it does look, it looks really nice. I'm glad the grass has some wind on it. I'm a little surprised that the trees are, are so still. It's so still that it looks really odd. It's not moving at all. I'm not sure if that's intentional, if it was made like that. And there's some... Texture looking issues. Oh, okay. It's just a static mesh. Okay, never mind. And the ground is kind of reflecting this green grass light onto this rock. I believe that's because the speculars that can be fixed if you just paint this rock looking material around this. And of course, this is only one of the biomes. So we can check out the other ones. This is the dessert biome. I think this one looks freaking amazing. I love these rock textures. The stylized sand looks really good. There's some mist going on here or some sort of reflection in here. It kind of just looks like the temperature from the heat is giving it that gassy look. I'm not sure if that was the intentions, but it does look really nice. Again, the foliage is very still, so it's very odd, but the grass is moving a little bit, so that's totally fine. Oh, and this is perfect. This is the palm tree area, a little oasis, just chilling here in the in the desert, so that looks really sick. And this is more of the grassy open field biome with some hexagon rock-like structures that's sticking out. And these are static meshes. They look really, that's pretty cool to me. It looks a bit futuristic. And yeah, I am glad the grass is moving. I do wish the trees were. Oh, okay, and these are actually bamboo. I didn't even notice that. So these are actually like very tall bamboo trees with leaves on it. Okay, so I turned the intensity skill down to zero and it looks way better already. And if you don't want the shadow to be so dark, because these are very harsh shadows to the point where it looks very unrealistic, 
You can just type in shadow in the directional light and then change the shadow amount. So I like to do something like 0.8 or even 0.7. You can still see what's behind it. And it's not like just a complete pitch black spot of black. But yeah, this, this actually looks, after some very minor adjustments, this asset pack looks really, really, really good to me. So yeah, the brightness was way too much. I think I was just trying to show it off. And this is the red biome. I believe this is counted as a different biome. It just seems the same thing, just recolored as red. There's a very long bridge here. And then there's this very stony like rock biome, which even has some gray looking haunted like trees. And now this is the low poly map that they included. Again, very bright, not too much to see here in my opinion. All right, so this is the stylized forest that also came with this pack. If it's all a white screen like this, you just need to turn off your post process volume. Zero idea why it's like that, but Oh, well, this pack actually looks really nice. There's actually foliage that moves. Oh my God. Thank God. I didn't think Orosot would actually do this, but hey, save the best for last time. All right. So even the tree stuff, even the leaves on the trees are moving. The grass is moving. It looks very lively. There's algae on the stump. There's some pieces of fence. This is very stylized. I am really liking this. There's a ton of types of flowers on the ground, different rock structures, stumps, trees, and so on. And now let's move on to the ultimate character. I've had a horrible experience with this, I think four or five years ago when it came out. Oh yeah. So 2019 when it came out, um, this is one of the first ones I ever bought and it was just a horrible experience. Back then there was no discord. There was zero support for this. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just surprised that this is back. So let's go ahead and check this out. So as you can see that it still says Unreal Engine 4. I really think this was just recently updated just for the sake of free for the month. And when I hit play, my ears are going to blow up and it's going to basically just tell you the controls. So you can click I for, okay, so that can't be right. So it says I for inventory or is that an L? Okay. So now, yeah, now I'm one of them. Holy crap. This is loud. And overall, um, this one needs a lot of work. I, I don't think this is actually updated for Unreal Engine 5. My controls are just not working properly. So after looking into this for quite a bit, um, in all good consciousness, I can't really recommend this asset. There isn't really anything special here. It's just an anim blueprint and a character that's already provided by Unreal Engine with some attack animations and a couple of UI upgrades and an example AI. Um, yeah, it comes with a very basic AI character with some blueprints in it. Um, all in all, nothing's really changed in the past five years. This is going to need a lot more support. Um, I'm not sure why this was a free for the month. You're better. You're better off making your own. And next we'll be going over the world director NPC, which has, which is replicated for multiplayer. I know these guys have been hard at work with this plugin and it looks amazing. This was very popular a few years ago too, when it first came out. And I know a ton of people who have this in the project. I've been wanting to get this, 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 you just install this directly to your engine. I already have it for 5.4 as stated here and let's go over it. So don't forget once it's installed into your engine, you can just enable it over here in your plugins. Just go to world director, check this and restart. So over in your engine plugins folder, there's a world director pro content that we can open up. And it also has some C++ classes you can take a look at. And there's going to be a lot in here because this is very, never mind. And I'll just go ahead and open the map. So I'll open the demo map. So as you can see in the bottom middle one, that's the one I'm controlling. And you can see it appear on all my characters and I'm not having any FPS issues. This is actually insane. <laughs> So you could have an entire civilization just kind of do their own thing and just make smart AIs to have people, I guess, go around shopping, make it very lively, um, make it very large open world type game with a bunch of stuff. This gives me tons of ideas. You can even have like AI that roams from village to village or city to city, and they can, you know, go to war with some other faction that cross their path. Maybe some goblins try to come in and invade and steal the supplies and so on. This is insane to me how many NPCs are here. It claims that it can hold over 100,000 um, NPCs and still have over 120 FPS and is multiplayer friendly. Just remember that when you do this, when you hit play, make sure that it is the net mode is you can play as the client because this is all happening 
all calculations take place on the server side. And that essentially covers my July free of the week. Thanks for watching Code to Row, Code to Throw. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.